keeping your mailbox clean and organized can be a kind of a challenge in many cases. It could be even more difficult if you have had your email account for a while. You might be using your email to subscribe to newsletters and manage different types of services. You might be receiving banks or other kind of statements. And of course, you might be receiving some spam as well. Google Email Services, I'm talking about Gmail and Google Workspace as well, allow you to add labels and apply filters that will help you identify and organize your emails. They will help you keep your inbox clean so you can be more productive. My name is Carlos, and today I will explain how to create labels and apply filters within your Google account. You will see how useful they can be. Labels and filters work in Gmail and Google Workspace. Let's now jump into our computer and I will show you how they work. We have now accessed our Google account. This is a Google Workspace. However, as we said before, what we are going to show here works for Gmail as well as for Google Workspace. We should start by saying that your Google account, technically speaking, doesn't work with folders as all the email services. Instead, it works with labels. Just as a simplification, we may refer sometimes to folders instead of labels. For example, if we look at here, label A and label B, they work like folders. Google allows you to label your emails and apply filters automatically. So you can hide or display them where and when you want. All the email services, like for example, Hotmail, Microsoft 365, or Outlook.com has some similar capabilities, but they are called rules instead of filters and labels. And as I just said, a label may work like a folder. However, it provides an additional advantage. Actually, you can assign multiple labels to a single email. Then you can organize your emails based not just on a single label, but multiple labels. We can see this example here on this email. We can see here that it has two labels, label A and label B. And if we look at the label or folder in the left side, we will see that that email is under this label. And if we click on the label B or folder B, we can, we can also find the same email right here. There are different ways to apply filters. We can start on the search bar. We can click on this little arrow just beside or part of the search bar, which is part of the search bar. And we can search based on from or based on to, on the subject, or maybe a word or words on the body of the message and some of the criteria. We can actually, we can, for example, search not just from the email, but from a specific domain name. If we have set up aliases in our account, we can search for emails that has been addresses to one of our aliases. And we can classify our emails based on where they have been addresses to. For example, one of our aliases. In this email account, I had set up a alias called sales at askitb.xyz. Then I can create a filter specific for this, for all the emails that has been sent to sales. Then I click on create, and then I have different options. For example, I can skip the inbox, so the email will go directly to a specific folder. I can select and check as red. I can start it, and I can apply a label. In this case, I can create a label, for example, called sales. Then I click on create. So the label sales has been created. I can see it here on the left. And I can continue selecting some of the options, like I forward the message, delete it, never send it to spam, always mark it as important, never mark it as important. I can categorize that email and I can also apply the filters to previous email that has been arrived. I'm going to select this option. We will click here on create filter. And if we go back to our inbox, in our inbox, we won't be able to see any emails that is sent to sales. However, 
we will have them here on their sales folder or label. We only have one message. When all your emails arrive to your inbox, you are in some way giving them the same kind of relevance or importance. At least they are all in the same place. And in that case, you need to start prioritizing your emails by looking all of each of them in the same place. Let's see, for example, this email that is coming from Google Payments. This one has just an invoice. Probably, I don't need to see these kind of emails as soon as it arrives. So I can just move this email automatically to a label that may be related to Google Payments. So I can assign a label to this kind of emails and bypass the inbox. If I want to create a filter to do that job, we can open the email and then we can click on the three little dots on the upper right of the message and we will find this option here filter messages like this we click here so we will find the email addresses where it is coming from and then we can create a filter in this case we want to skip the inbox and we want to apply a label that we are going to create in this case we click here we create a new label we can call it Google Payments, click on Create, and we can also apply this filter to all previous messages. We click here and click on Create. All the emails that are coming from Google Payments has been labeled and filtered. We have here on their left the Google Payments label. So they have been classified on the Google Payments. If we click, if we go back to our inbox, we won't find any emails coming from Google Payments. And in the future, any email from Google Payment will go directly to this folder or labeled. Let's click and go back to our inbox. Now, we may have some emails that we don't want to miss. Let's say, for example, that this email from Herman Bates is a very important client and I never want to miss a email coming from this person. So we can apply a different kind of filter. Let's see. We open the email. We click on the three little dots and we are going to apply the filter. We have the email that is coming from this email address and then we can click here on create filter. In this case, we don't want to skip the inbox. We want to leave it in the inbox. And we are going to create and assign a new label. We click here. And we are going to create a new label by clicking here. And let's say, for example, the label that we want to create is urgent. We click on create. We want to make sure that this email never go to spam. We click here. And we can apply also the label to previous messages. We click here. And then we can click on Create Filter. If we go back to our inbox, we will find that all messages that are coming from Herman Bates are labeled as urgent. And if we scroll down here, we will find the label is here, all the messages from this person are here as well. We might be interested in highlighting this label a little bit more. If we go to our label here on the left and click on the little three dots, we can change the color of the label. Let's change the color to red, for example. So we will find that it will be easier to recognize when any emails coming from this person. If we think that we've made a mistake creating one of our filters and we want to or we want to modify any of the filters that we have created, we can just click on the upper right corner where the little wheel is on settings. We click on see all settings and we can go here under filters and block addresses. We will find all the filters that we have created. Then we can select the filter and we can delete the filter or we can edit it. If we edit it, 
we will be able to modify the filter and we can click on continue and also modify the different options that we checked before. So labels and filters in our Google account provide a useful tool that help us keep our attention on important emails and bypass others that are not as important or at least don't need our attention on a daily basis. With this, we conclude our session today about filters and labels in your Google account. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this one, or you may want to find this one easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.